Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. We have completed the unit one, the five chapters. And now today we are moving on to the next unit, that is unit number two, people in organization. And in that unit, uh, today we are going to discuss the leadership and the management. So there is a profound difference between management and leadership. And both are important in an organization. To manage means to bring about, to accomplish, to have charge of or responsibility for, to conduct all this is to manage and Leading is influencing the people, guiding the people in a particular direction, different guiding the course of actions to attain the objectives and the goals, and having the opinions for all the things. So this distinction is very crucial about the leaders and the managers. So badly managed businesses are the businesses which are poorly organized. When these are poorly organized, naturally there will be very less staff motivation. There would be inefficiencies. The resources will be wasted. The quality of the things will distort there would be lack of long-term plans and the objectives would be lost the actual direction of the organization will be lost what is the purpose of that business again that purpose is lost so what happens to the badly managed business naturally they will go out of the market so management is crucial as well. As we go along, we'll see. <clears throat> so what is a manager? So a manager is a business professional that sets the objectives, organize the resources, and motivates the staff so that the organization aims are met. So here you can see how important the tasks of the managers are. Aims are set, as we discussed earlier, uh, when the purpose of the organization is set. Then, to attain that aims, we set the objectives. And we discussed in length what are the objectives, long-term objectives, <clears throat> medium-term objectives, short-term objectives. So a manager, is basically required to set the objectives and organize the resources and more. So what are the functions of management? So functions of management are the responsibilities of a manager. Wherever you go, whatever you study in regarding the business or the management, these functions or the responsibilities of the managers remain the same. So the first and the foremost important responsibility of a manager is setting objectives and planning means thinking ahead and plan to attain the objectives and to reach the aim of the organization so these are the main key components of the responsibilities of a manager or the key component of the function of the management when this is done the next function becomes the organizing the resources as we know that resources are limited so the manager has to ensure that he has enough staff and the right staff to achieve the organization's objective 
the third responsibility is directing and motivating the staff ensuring staff are on task and achieving the set objectives means you are helping them you are uh, directing them you are basically uh, motivating them in different ways like in non-financial ways in financial ways and for what purpose to achieve the objectives okay the fourth function is coordinating when there are different activities going on in the organization so you have to ensure consistency and coordination amongst the different departments but what is the uh, benefit of this coordination that it reduces the communication problems so if we see that coordination and improved communication is basically the function and the fifth function is controlling and measuring the performance means ensuring that each department performs at the levels expected and how that can be done we have set the objectives if we are attaining the objectives in the given timeline it means our performance is up to the mark else we are not performing as required and how can we uh, know that we we can know that by having the feedback from different people from different departments from supervisors etc and this is how the management controls and measures the performance so one thing as you uh, must have understood is very important and that is the setting of objectives and directing them and motivating them to attain those objectives this is the very crucial component of the functions of the management okay moving on <clears throat> as we did the functions of the management the relevant to these are the different roles of the management and it was given by henry mintzberg in his work the nature of managerial work 1973 and this is these are called mintzberg's three management roles these are 10 roles basically but these 10 roles are categorized into three groups so that's why we call them as three management roles these roles <coughs> are divided into three groups and the groups are the first group is interpersonal roles the second is informational roles and the third is decisional roles and let's see uh, what these roles are one by one so first one is your interpersonal role and in the interpersonal role you have the first role as figurehead so figurehead means you are a symbolic leader of the organization for example the richard branson in the virgin records he is a symbolic leader he is a figurehead what he is doing he is performing different social duties and the duties like legal uh, nature uh, duties of the legal nature and what can be the uh, examples what tasks this figurehead can do like uh, opening new factories deciding upon the growth of the organization giving a presentation to the people because he is a figurehead symbolic leader okay the second role is the leader <clears throat> leader motivates the subordinates selects and train the staff influence the staff and leader can be any uh, 
management position or the management task in which uh, you are directing some people in which you are uh, having some subordinates and you are influencing their behavior it means you are a leader and the third role is liaison liaison is linking with managers from other branches and divisions means you are leading and participating in different meetings uh, different correspondence uh, business correspondence different discussions you are playing a role of linkage so the interpersonal roles you have three figurehead leader and liaison okay then the second is your informational roles information roles may the first role is monitor or the receiver means you are collecting data relevant to the business organization not all the things and how you will monitor you will attend different seminars uh, conferences uh, research groups you you would be uh, consulting different research papers different research organizations and this is how you are basically collecting the data relevant to your own business organization that can be used uh, for the future planning as well okay the second role is disseminator disseminate means to send something to spread something and here the role is again the disseminator it means sending data which you have collected to the relevant people within the organization you are basically communicating with the staff uh, using different means I mean, meetings there may, may be meetings you can use the emails you can have one-to-one -one discussions so basically you are spreading that information which you have collected in order to gain the benefit out of those data and those information and the third role is spokesperson means communicating with media and other sources about the organization you are presenting your annual reports to the people to the stakeholders you are uh, communicating with the uh, tv media with the press media and you are basically presenting uh, your organization in a better way uh, to the outside world so this is how you are performing the role of spokesperson and then the third role is your decisional roles in which the first and foremost role is the entrepreneur means the person who takes the big idea who takes the risk of establishing some business means you are encouraging in the in the organization how you are performing this role you are encouraging the people to give their own ideas and then those ideas are being worked out in order to get good ideas which are workable and then which, which are helpful for the organization as well so this is how you are performing the role of entrepreneur in the organization the second role is disturbance handler means you are handling issues with the business and anything that will put a business at risk there arises conflicts there arises issues and at that point in time you are basically putting your role as disturbance handler and you are taking decision how the business should respond to the different conflicts to the different threats which are arising due uh, due to the competitors actions due to the actions uh, within the organization or whatever it is basically you are trying to resolve those issues which occur uh, uh, naturally during the course of the action of the organization then the next role is the resource allocator right means deciding how the business spends its money and allocates physical and human resources in order to have better performance and better output means you are drawing and approving uh, your budgets you are deciding on the staff levels you are deciding on the uh, 
training of the staff you are deciding on the different capital resources you are deciding on what to purchase in in terms of machinery in terms of different supplies etc etc so you are basically performing the role of resource allocator <clears throat> and the fourth one is negotiator means representing the organization in important negotiations for example with the government if you are in terms uh, of in terms with within within uh, a government representative and how you negotiate and how you present your organization it is the role of negotiator you are conducting a negotiation with different officials different government officials different foreign office offices uh, representatives coming if you are a good exporter or importer and you are negotiating the different terms and conditions of your organization so you are performing the role of negotiator now <clears throat> it is very much clear from uh, this discussion that at times uh, you are performing one or more of the of these roles at times your role changes according to the situation so that is required because these are not the permanent means at time you will be a resource allocator at times you will be a spokesperson at time you will be a liaison at time you will be a negotiator so it depends but these are the 10 roles of the management so at different point in times during the course of the action of the business your role changes as well so these are the 10 roles which were given by the mintsburg okay here we end up uh, today's session and we'll discuss the next leadership in the next class as well thank you